Viltrumites are a scary alien race. With their superior strength, agility, and durability, they are quite the foe to have. This is why, when Invincible has to face off against the best of the Viltrumites, better known as Thrag, the stakes are quite high. In this video, we will look into the monarch of the planet Viltrum and see what makes him as mighty and as scary as he is. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Who is Thrag? When Omni-Man and Invincible finally had their much-needed father-son talk, albeit in the midst of bloodshed, we learned a lot about Viltrum and its residents, Viltrumites. So, we had an idea that Viltrumites would be one of those threats that would come back repeatedly in Mark's life over the year, and Thrag is just one of them. Thrag is called Grand Regent Thrag, and that is for a reason. Thrag was born and raised in Viltrum. He was trained in every combat style imaginable, and he was bred to be the most powerful of them all. All of these things turned him into an ultimate Viltrumite of sorts. He was strong and ruthless, and he had his eyes set on only the particular ideas that Viltrumites have, without any corruption in the form of love like Omni-Man felt. Now, Thrag ended up having quite a war-filled life. When Thrag was young, well as young as aliens who live for thousands of years can be, the Emperor of Viltrum, Argal, was killed by Thetis, the first of the Viltrumites to ever rebel. So basically, in short, Thetis noticed the way the Viltrumites were going around the whole universe, expanding their empire and being overall tyrannical, and Thetis did not like that. He turned his back on his race, killed the then Emperor, and went off to make the Coalition of Planets, an association that was made specifically to be against the Viltrumites. So, when Thetis murdered Argal, the whole empire fell into chaos. There was a civil war in Viltrum, and Thrag was pulled into it. He fought in that war which makes him probably more than thousands of years old. Thrag showed significant leadership capabilities, which led to him becoming the leader of the Viltrumites after the whole Viltrumite Civil War. As the surviving Viltrumites were the strongest and Thrag's Iron Fist rule cemented his dominance, under his guidance, Viltrumites became a race that could not be defeated at all. Under his guidance, the Viltrumite Empire grew, and Viltrumites became quite the threat. That was when he was given the title of the Grand Regent, and with that title came a task he had to find the heir of their fallen Emperor Argal. Thrag decided to keep looking for this heir while making sure that the Viltrum Empire flourished under his rule. He kept the skull of Argal as a reminder, which is a very weird power play move on his part. However, by Thrag's explanation, the skull of the Emperor reminded him of what this empire would be if it fell into disarray again. Thanks to his rule, Thrag garnered quite a few enemies, and as Viltrumites were already quite a feared and hated species in general, the enemies did not feel too bad about what they were going to do. As the Viltrumites were extremely durable when it came to their physicality, the enemies decided to cripple them internally, specifically their internal system, by making a virus known as the Scourge Virus. This virus kind of wiped away roughly 99.9% .9 of the Viltrumites. The Viltrumites that did survive suffered a great loss in strength and their powers in general. With so many casualties of this bio-warfare, Thrag concluded that the heir of Argal, if they survived the Civil War, was now certainly dead because there were barely 50 Viltrumites alive. Also, as Thrag had led the Viltrumites for so long, he felt like he had made his place in the crowd, and he decided to stay as the Grand Regent and not step down from his position, even though he was no longer looking for the heir of Argal. Now that we have looked into who Thrag is and why he is like that, let's take a deep dive into his anatomy and learn a bit more about him on a deeper level. How is Thrag different than other Viltrumites? When we are first introduced to the characters in the Invincible series, one of the biggest things that we notice is the massively different power levels of the villains that Mark faces. Instead of being able to win from the get-go, Mark fails several times in the series and eventually gets stronger because there are stronger villains out there. When Mark faces his father, Omni-Man or Battle Beast, you would see the way they beat the hero up and think, wow, these characters are really strong. And that would be a fair thing to think about. But what if I were to tell you that Thrag could take on both of these people I have mentioned and do it with ease? Yes, Thrag is just built differently. Based on whatever Omni-Man told Mark about the Viltrumites, it is clear that every Viltrumite we come across is a prodigy because they fought and survived. And Omni-Man is definitely one of those prodigies. However, Thrag is above those prodigies. On a planet where the motto is might, makes right. We can only imagine the amount of power Thrag must possess in order to be in the position that he was in and stay there for as long as he did. Other Viltrumites hurt their hands when they try to punch Thrag, while Thrag is completely unaffected by it. The one time we see Thrag actually injured is when he and Battle Beast fight. Yes, the Battle Beast almost made a hole in Mark's chest, 
and Thrag literally wears Battle Beast skin as a cape after his victory in the duel because Thrag was simply that strong. So in comparison to other Viltrumites we see throughout the series, none were like Thrag in the slightest. Is he stronger than Omni-Man? Omni-Man is definitely strong. When we see him turn the Guardians of the Globe into what is very similar to mashed potatoes with ease, I might add, he makes it very clear that he is the strongest man on Earth. Even as we see him fight with Invincible, we see how even though Invincible 2 is a Viltrumite, he is unable to stand his ground against his father. Omni-Man overpowered Mark and dominated the whole fight very casually. So imagine a fight where Omni-Man gets thrown around like he threw around Mark. That is the type of fight that Omni-Man got when he faced off against Thrag. Thrag was bred to be the ultimate Viltrumite, prodigy amongst prodigies, the best of the best. And even as he stayed in his position of the Grand Region, Thrag never stopped training. He never stopped challenging his body and he kept on honing his combat skills. As we have seen throughout the comics, the powers of the Viltrumites grow over time, even if they do not do anything to support that growth. You can imagine how strong a Viltrumite would be if he trained through that energy growth. Well, technically, you do not have to imagine one, because Thrag is that Viltrumite. Because of all these reasons, when Omni-Man and Thrag faced off, Thrag dominated the fight by a whole yard, if not all nine of them. He beat Omni-Man with ease literally ripping him apart without a singular thing holding him back. We see Omni-Man barely survive by moving out of Thrag's way at the right moment, which prevents Thrag from taking out Omni-Man's heart. So yes, Thrag is far stronger than Omni-Man. Can he live without breathing? Viltrumites definitely have a physiology that is vastly different from our human physiology. Other than the strength and the durability, the biggest area where the Viltrumites, especially Thrag, are different from us is when it comes to lung capacity. Let me just quickly explain what lung capacity is. So, lung capacity or total lung capacity is the maximum amount of air that we can take in with maximum effort. When it comes to us adults, the amount of air we can take in is about 6 liters. So, when we hold our breath and go underwater after taking a deep breath, the total lung capacity is at work. When it comes to Thrag, he has a higher lung capacity, which allows him to hold his breath for far longer than we can. In fact, when it comes to Thrag, he can easily stay alive for two weeks while traveling in space without taking a breath, which is quite an accomplishment if you ask me. It also proves exactly how strong and durable this character is. This is probably why the only way Thrag was defeated was by pushing him into a star and not pushing him off into deep space. The source of Thrag's invincible might. When it comes to Viltrumites, their whole society runs on the motto that history is written by the victors. Because of that, it is very important for every Viltrumite to stay in shape and be their best version, including Thrag. Mostly Thrag. Now, Thrag is the leader of Viltrumites after Algol was killed by Thetis. He went through the Civil War, and we saw the Viltrumites turn on each other. Every strong Viltrumite fell in the hands of the stronger Viltrumite, and it kept happening until the best remained. They also went through the Scourge virus outbreak, where the majority of the Viltrumites were wiped out. No matter how much they tried to quarantine the infected, the Viltrum Empire fell, and with only 0.1% of survivors remaining, there was not much hope left for this empire. But Thrag survived this. Not only did he survive this, but he rallied all the Viltrumites there were and ruled over them, trying to keep the empire together. In order to establish himself as the monarch who deserved the space and the respect that he got, Thrag went through grueling training since his birth. He trained in every way possible for him, and no matter what position he was in, he never stopped training. As Viltrumites already have far greater strength than humans and most of the aliens over the galaxy, the training did him well. Also, Viltrumites have a tendency where their power grows over time, even without training, which again with training helped Thrag a lot. Other than these, the durability and the super speed that Thrag got were hereditary, partly because of his genetic composition as a Viltrumite and partly because he was bred that specific way. With all of these playing their own crucial role, Thrag ended up becoming as mighty as he did. He is someone even Viltrumites are scared of going against because he does not get hurt. The only time we truly see Thrag succumbing to injuries is when he fought against Battle Beast, and that too for days, with his intestines hanging out of him. So yes, thanks to his insane durability, strength, and speed, Thrag is not someone you can take lightly. Does he have healing ability? One of the most memorable fights that we see Thrag in is when he faces off against Battle Beast. When Thrag was sent into exile, he ended up on the planet of Thraxa. He knew that the coalition of planets would send someone to kill him, and the person who was sent was Battle Beast. Thrag had heard about him, and he knew that if Battle Beast had been an ally instead of an opponent, Thrag and Battle Beast would have achieved a lot of things together. Thok, or Battle Beast, is an opponent who is extremely strong. Some fans might even speculate that Battle Beast from the Image Universe can easily go up against the Man of Steel of the DC Universe. 
That is how strong Battle Beast is. So understandably, when the Battle Beast and Thrag got into a fight, the duel was going to be legendary. Before these two characters could get into the fight that we had been waiting for, the Ragnars were released. Battle Beast, who was a very honorable fighter, did not want to have any advantage over his opponent and instead assisted in taking them down, so that Thrag and he could finally get to it. At one point, the Ragnars disembowel Thrag. That is quite a severe injury. However, even in that disemboweled state, Thrag decided to finally duel with Battle Beast, even though Battle Beast gave both of them an equal footing by cutting into his abdomen as well. What is absolutely astonishing about Thrag is that he never wanted Battle Beast to do that. Thrag was confident that he would have the upper hand, even with a deep abdomen cut, and he made it very obvious. As they fight, Thrag seems to have the upper hand for the majority of the fight, and despite all the blows he takes from Battle Beast, Thrag stands his ground. The only time he falters in the power dynamic of the fight shifts is when Battle Beast bit Thrag, injuring his left eye. The fight between these two powerhouses lasted for quite a while, and eventually, after days, Thrag emerged victorious in this fight. With how bloody the final panel of the fight is, there is no reason for us to believe that Thrag did not get hurt because he did. He was severely injured. However, he was able to survive for as long as he did because of two things, healing abilities and deaccelerated aging. When we are young, any type of injury, whether it is a cut, a sprain, or even a fracture, takes a significantly shorter time to heal as compared to the same injury happening when we are much older. This is because over the years, our healing abilities have gone down and dwindled. When it comes to the Viltrumites, in order to bypass this, they have deaccelerated aging. This is where their body seemingly stops growing after it reaches its prime, making sure that the Viltrumite is able to have all of those peak abilities for seemingly thousands of years. This, along with the enhanced healing abilities that every Viltrumite has, makes Thrag someone who cannot be taken down in a mere hand-to-hand -hand fight. Even though he was fighting the majority of the battle disemboweled, Thrag did not stumble until he had won the fight, and only then did he succumb to his wounds. His healing abilities truly work in a marvelous way, and shortly after a few panels, we see Thrag return, mostly healed from injuries that would kill any human in his place, with barely scratches and bandages on him. Can he reproduce with humans or other species? The number of Viltrumites was dwindling right after the civil war that Thetis led after killing off Argal. However, the number became scarce when the Scourge virus spread on the Viltrum planet. When the infected died off, Thrag was the one who was in the leader shows, and as a leader, he definitely had to figure out a way to reproduce and increase the number of his followers. However, that did not go as planned because of the Viltrumite genetic composition. Whenever Thrag or any other Viltrumite tried to mate with anyone, the genetic composition of the Viltrumites was so dominant and superior that they broke down the other set of genetic codes. However, when Thrag learned about Nolan being able to have a child with a human and a Thraxan, Thrag went to Thraxa when he was exiled. While at Thraxa, he mated with several women and created quite a huge army of children with mostly Viltrumite abilities owing to the genetic dominance of the Viltrumite genetic code. Out of all the children he had, the twins, named Onan and Ursal, are the most mentionable. Onan is the most loyal to his father, and along with that loyalty, he has the viciousness of his father as well. On the other hand, Ursal is rather pragmatic. She is much better at figuring out how political manipulation should be done in order to have loyal followers to the Viltrum Empire. These two twins were sent to kill Mark's family which was quite a heavy task to give to children. But their execution shows why Thrag chose the twins to carry out this mission. Does he have any weaknesses? Thrag has one weakness that every Viltrumite has. Viltrumites have very sensitive ears, as they are key when it comes to their overall equilibrium. So, when there is a particularly high frequency, the Viltrumites in the vicinity will be affected by it, even if they cannot hear it. Thrag would also be affected by the frequency, even though we never saw anyone use it against him. But we know it would work, because we saw Robot use it on the Sinister Invincible, when Robot and Invincible went to check on the condition of Angstrom Levy. Marvelous Verdict With that Achilles heel, we come to the end of our video. Thrag's anatomy explored. Thrag is the strongest Viltrumite alive. He has fatally wounded Omni-Man, killed Battle Beast, and he decapitated Thetis with ease. Thrag is one of the strongest villains to exist in the Image Universe, and honestly, if there were to be a crossover, I would love to see Thrag and Superman duke it out and see which alien comes up victorious, the Kryptonian or the Viltrumite. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.